I've had a lot of resistance. And I asked on Facebook, I said, what do you think of doing enchiladas? Like, what, 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 do, what problem do you have with enchiladas? Really? Okay. Screw y'all. I'm doing enchiladas. I'm cooking under the influence. That's the problem with white people. They fuck everything up. They find something delicious, and then they make it worse. Hello, welcome once again to Cook It Under the Influence. I am Sean, your host and chef du jour. So, why, why would you have a problem with me cooking enchiladas? I'm like, well, too bad. I'm doing enchiladas because A, I had already brought the ingredients for it, and B, it's what I want. So today I'm cooking the influence. That's what we're going to do. But before we start cooking enchiladas, we need a drink. All right, tonight's drink, I call it the Lazy Man's Margarita. Get us a little vodka going on there. Don't explode. Ah. Soda water. And a splash of limeade. This isn't a margarita, but it's if you're lazy, that's what you'll call it. Lazy Man Margarita. I'm going to do two different kinds of enchiladas tonight. Let me get the stuff. Now we're going to do chicken enchiladas and chorizo enchiladas. And I got chicken thighs because dark meat actually has more flavor than white chicken meat. And because I had a brain fart and I forgot what the hell I was doing. And I haven't even really started drinking yet. Alright, so our water is boiling and our pan is heated up. Let's take this tube of meat. I don't know if meat's supposed to come in a tube unless it's attached to your body, but, you know, that's just me. And squirt it out into our pan. I don't know what it is. It's some kind of, like, Mexican sausage or something. It's got all kind of pork and, obviously, pepper. Woo! Remember what parboil means? Partially boiled. All right, red onion. We'll slice that up. You don't need to slice your red onions up too finely. Nice big chunks is fine. And I'm going to take this chorizo drippings, a little olive oil, and we're going to saute our onions in there. Chicken looks partially boiled, which is exactly what we were going for. We'll get us a little bell pepper. And we'll saute that along with the onions. It's not all the way cooked through, which is perfectly fine. We're just getting it started cooking. So let's put that on the side. Three bowls of shit. We've got your ow, very hot bowl of parboiled chicken. Your bowl of just starting to cook onions and peppers. And your bowl of kind of weird looking chorizo. This shit is the bomb. Alright. Traditionally, in Mexican food, tortillas are corn tortillas like this. But, because white people have to go and fuck everything up, I'm also going to use flour tortillas. Because you go to Mexico, or wherever they have enchiladas, and you say, oh, this is great. Let's make it more bland so white people can like it. Okay, so our stuff's cooled down, our meat's rested, let's, let's roll up some enchiladas. What I'm going to call enchiladas. Corn tortillas, nothing wrong with that. Delicious, meaty, hearty. Oh, but white people want flour tortillas. Well, and then you have spinach tortillas or whole wheat tortillas. And it just gets worse as the day goes on and more white people get involved. Green salsa. Take a little jar of that because, oh my God, really? Really? Come on. All right, make a little layer of green salsa in the bottom of your bacon dish. It, think about it. You can't get a good ethnic food without white people fucking it up somehow. And we're going to get, these are our corn tortillas. Take a little bit of the chorizo. Roll that up. Okay, it's all fucked up. Why is it all fucked up? Maybe this is why white people use flour tortillas. Because this isn't working. It's all just like... Really? Japanese restaurant and say, hey, I'd like some a sushi roll. 
and I come to your fish and your rice, and it's wrapped in seaweed and your sushi. I'd like sushi, but I want it wrapped in soy paper. Can you cook the fish a little bit? Can I have smoked fish? Okay, so I put some corn tortillas in the toaster oven to heat them up. Maybe that'll make them softer and more malleable. We don't know. In the meantime, I'm going to chop up some chicken here. All right, flour tortillas. Put a little chicken in there. Wrap that up. See, that's way easier. Maybe this is why white people use flour tortillas. I don't know. You ever go to one of those soul food restaurants where all the black people in New Orleans go to? Great food. You ever have turkey necks? Holy crap. Delicious soul food. Ooh, turkey necks. No, can't do that. Could I just have some sliced white breast of turkey? That would be fabulous. Thanks. And, oh, collard greens. Do you have a fresh Waldorf salad instead? Now, you'll notice I didn't spice up the chicken at all. All the spicy is going to come in a little while. All right, the corn tortillas seem much more malleable after being in the toaster oven for a few minutes. White people fuck up other white people's shit. If you go to Greece, what do they have? Lamb. God, there's lamb freaking everywhere. What do white people do with it? Ooh, lamb's a little too gamey. Um, let's make it beef instead. Really? Come on. I've got a bacon dish full of corn tortillas full of chorizo and flour tortillas full of white people chicken. Make yourself a little taco. Alright, so now we've got this big bowl of vegetables. Let's just toss a few of them across the top there. This isn't like enchiladas like you get in a Mexican restaurant. This is cooking under the influence enchilada. Holy crap, speaking of influence, I need a refill. Go to Mexico, you get chorizo. White people aren't happy with that because it tastes too good. So what are we going to do? Let's get some bland, flavorless chicken. Lazy man's margarita. Alright, I'm just going to use, this is some garlic powder. And a little sprinkle of kosher salt. You can use whatever salt, I don't care. Okay, this is mole, which is like a Mexican, Mexican condiment. It says so right here on the jar. Take a bunch of spoons of mole, mix it up with some oil. And heat it up in the microwave and see what happens. How about you go to Paris, you wake up in the morning, and you have a cup of coffee and a baguette of bread, maybe with a little butter. Delicious, sublime breakfast in Paris. Not happy with French baguette and a cup of coffee, no. They have to go to freaking Starbucks and have, and say, do you have gluten-free whole grain baguettes? And I'll have a caramel mocha latte with extra foam decaf, please. Like, you just fucked up everything. Nice little bunch of tomatoes. Chop those up. All right, let's put our chopped tomatoes on top of our enchiladas. I don't know what's in mole. It's like nuts and peppers and chocolate and all kind of stuff. It's weird, but it tastes pretty good. Just gonna drizzle a little mole across the top of our enchiladas. The Germans, they make great beer, don't they? But can white people stand that? No, they take a delicious recipe of this robust, hearty, full body chit, and what do we make? Pabst, or Schlitz, or Budweiser. I can't even be happy with other white people. White people have to go and fuck that up too. And I'm gonna slice up just a couple of uh, jalapenos. And one last, I've had all these freaking vegetables in there. I love vegetables. I mean, it's not really enchiladas. It's more like freaking salad casserole. Anyway, let's put some black beans on there. Uh, I'm just draining the beans, which sounds kind of rude now that I'm thinking about it. Sprinkle those across the top. Oh, shit, I forgot to preheat the oven. Let's put it on 375. Sure, why not? Let's drink, God almighty. White people can't even take something that's already delicious and be happy with it. No. You can't have caviar because it's too salty. No, let's mix it with a bunch of sour cream and onions 
and capers and shit so we don't taste the caviar. Then why are you bothering with the damn caviar? Remember way at the bottom of this thing we had a layer of that green tomatillo salsa stuff? Let's coat it with another layer of green tomatillo salsa stuff. And another thing that white people either love or hate is cilantro. Here's a nice bouquet of cilantro. We're going to sprinkle a bunch of that across the top of there. I don't care if you don't like cilantro, you're not eating here, are you? Or gluten. God forbid you have gluten and shit. I challenge you to go to any third world country, any undeveloped nation, and find me one person that has a gluten intolerance. It's been like a half an hour. Let's pull this shit out. Oh, God. We're going to take a big wad of cheese. Cover our uh, enchilada casserole thingies with cheese. White people love friggin' cheese. Here's a delicious salad. It's made of great vegetables and got spicy arugula and acidic tomatoes. So what do white people do? They come along, hey, let's cover it with dressing so we can't taste any of that shit. people. All right, so once that's covered nicely with white people cheese, we're going to put it back in the oven for 10 minutes. How about some delicious beef? Would you like a hamburger? Would you like a steak? Maybe some ribs. Oh, that'd be great. Let me douse it in freaking A1 sauce or barbecue sauce or some other kind of fucking hide the taste of everything sauce. Really? When they go to a Chinese restaurant, do they order the Peking duck? No. What do they get? They get friggin' fried rice and Mandarin chicken. Oh, it's so ethnic. Look how international I am. Alright, let's take this shit out of the oven. It's been 30 minutes without the cheese, plus 10 minutes with the cheese. Oh, God. This looks so freaking good. This looks fantastic. I went to Peru a while back, and they serve cuy in Peru, which is guinea pig. None of the Peruvians ask for extra sour cream or guacamole with their guinea pig cuy. Let's, let's try some of our enchilada creation. Uh, oh lord, I lost track of what's what. This is the corn tortilla mess. Mmm. Very nice. Right, let's try our white people chicken flour tortilla. That's pretty good too. Gotta say. Chorizo, which is kind of exotic. You can have your chicken, which is not very exotic. And they both turn out really, really good. I'm not complaining. We can all get along. We all have great food. This is great. It's all good. Till next time. Adios. And bon appetit. Holy cow, I'm white and dirty. I want to bowl with the gangsters. But oh well, it's obvious I'm white and dirty. Think I'm just too white and dirty. Think I'm just too white and dirty. I'm just too white and dirty. Look at me, I'm white and dirty.